Today's picks and videos are brought thanks to George the Leon Burger. The Leon Burger breed was developed in the mid 19th century when the Victorian era craze for dogs was beginning. The breed was the brainchild of Heinrich Essig, a dog breeder and mayor of the town of Leonberg, near Stuttgart, in Baden-Württemberg, Germany. Essig's goal was to create a breed that looked like a lion, part of the crest and coat of arms of Leonberg. He succeeded grandly, and such clients as Napoleon III, Tsar Alexander II, Empress Elizabeth of Austria, Otto von Bismarck, and Italian King Umberto, lined up to add this stately companion to their royal courts. Although he wasn't detail-oriented when it came to keeping breeding records, he claimed that the Leon Burger was developed by crossing Landseer Newfoundlands, long-haired St. Bernards, and Pyrenean Mountain Dogs. Initially, Essig was breeding for an all-white dog, but after his death in 1889, his nephew took over the breeding and developed the tawny coat color and the black mask that most Leon Burgers sport today. The modern look of the Leon Burger was developed during the latter part of the 20th century. This was necessary because the breeding stocks of the Leon Burger were seriously affected by the two world wars. Like many breeds, the world wars almost brought it to extinction. It is thanks to Carl Stadelman and Otto Josenhans that the breed survived. After World War I, these men scoured Germany, searching for Leon Burgers, and found only 25 still living. And of those, only five were suitable for breeding. World War II was even worse, reducing the Leon Burger population down to eight. In 1945, several Germans gathered some of the few remaining Leon Burgers and re-established the breed. Every Leo alive today can trace their lineage directly back to those eight post-war dogs. While the official standard was set in 1949, it wasn't until the 1970s and 1980s that the breed gained a foothold in the United States when several families had Leon Burgers imported from Germany and the Leon Burger Club of America was formed in 1985. The Leon Burger is a large well-muscled dog with strong bones. Leon Burgers are a sexually dimorphic breed, meaning males and females of the breed are instantly recognizable from one another. While females feature a more graceful, slender body line, with narrower hips and shoulders, males are considerably thicker throughout, with larger heads and paws, and coats that feature a prominent mane. The head is deep rather than broad, and somewhat rectangular, with the length of the muzzle and the length of the skull roughly equal. The skull is slightly longer than wide, and the stop is clearly recognizable and moderately defined. The head is adorned with a striking black mask, which projects the breed's distinct expression of intelligence, pride, and kindliness. Their medium-sized ears are triangular in shape, fleshy, hanging flat, and close to the head. The tips of the ears are level with the corners of the mouth. Their eyes are medium-sized, oval to almond-shaped, neither deep-set nor protruding with a soft, good-natured, and intelligent facial expression. The most common eye color is dark brown, although light brown is also seen on occasion. They have straight, powerfully built legs that end in rounded, tight feet with arched toes. While standing relaxed, the tail hangs straight down. In movement, the tail is carried no higher than the level of the back. The Leon Burger's coat is straight or slightly wavy with a medium soft to rough texture. Their soft, dense undercoat, which gives them a fluffier, shaggy appearance, is overlaid with a longer and coarser outer coat. The medium to long, water-resistant, double coat, comes in several coat colors, including all combinations of lion yellow, red, red-brown, and sand. All colors may have black tips on the outer coat, but black must not be the basic color. Colors are generally solid, save for the breed's hallmark black mask on the face. Leon Burgers have some ear feathering and ample feathering on the fore and rear legs, and their tails are very well furnished. There may be a small stripe or white patch on the chest and some white hairs on the toes. Nose leather, foot pads, and lips should always be black. Regardless of sex, Leon Burgers are impossible to miss. While male Leon Burgers are 28 to 31 inches, 71 to 80 centimeters tall at the shoulder, females are smaller, at 26 to 30 inches, 65 to 75 centimeters. 
Males weigh anywhere from 120 to 170 pounds, 54 to 77 kilograms, and females from 100 to 135 pounds, 45 to 61 kilograms. Leon burgers get to live about 7 to 12 years, with an average age of 9 years. The required level of physical activity is medium. Given the breed size, grooming them will take a fair amount of time. The long fur and thick undercoat are in a perpetual state of shedding and are prone to tangling and matting if they are not cared for on a regular basis. Leon burgers should be checked frequently to ensure that there are no fleas, ticks, or injuries hiding under their fur, and they should be brushed at least once or twice a week. Then, for added fun, they'll completely shed that undercoat twice a year, and during these times of the year, they should be brushed daily. All that shedding and brushing does keep the Leon Burgers coat from getting overly long, so trips to the groomer can be functionally non-existent. The Leo loves being wet and muddy, and if his coat looks clean afterward, it's because all the dirt and debris has dropped onto your floor or furniture. Bathe them as needed. Finally, like all dogs, Leon Burgers need their nails trimmed, so they don't click-clack across the floor, and their ears should also be checked and cleaned. Since a Leon Burger is essentially a 170-pound roommate with questionable opinions on personal space, it is not the most recommended dog breed for apartment life. But, as long as you give these massive, furry friends the exercise they need, Leon Burgers are adaptable pups who can adjust to living anywhere. With their luxurious, thick mane, Leos have a really tough time in hot weather, the reason why they prefer cool climates. While this breed does not need a lot of exercise, it requires regular exercise. Fortunately, there are many good options for exercising with these dogs. They excel at activities such as swimming and water rescue, tracking, herding, carting, and in some cases, even agility training, not to mention a good old-fashioned walk. If you plan to have your Leo pull carts or hike, make sure to wait until your dog is grown, since it is not recommended before he is about 18 months old. The Leon Burger has a lively nature. It is brave, intelligent, and well-known for its loving and steadfast, stable, and calm temperament. They are a popular breed for therapy and water rescue work, and they are at their best when they are treated as an integral part of the family. Leon Burgers were bred to be giant family dogs. A well-balanced Leon Burger will be highly trustworthy, and they tend to have incredible patience, and to be gentle and loving towards children. However, no matter how gentle they are, Leon Burgers are still 170-pound, powerful dogs, and might accidentally knock over an unsuspected kid. So all interactions with toddlers and younger children should be carefully supervised. Leon Burgers also love to be around seniors and enjoy playing couch potato, provided they get a walk-in at least twice a day. They also love being in small packs with other dogs, and even cats are usually no problem for them to coexist with. Leo puppies should be socialized by being gently exposed to a wide range of people, animals, and settings before the age of 20 weeks, as they can become fearful or aggressive as they reach maturity, if this phase in their life is neglected. A Leo is probably stronger than and may even outweigh his owner, so it is imperative that he learns to do what you want him to do. This dog breed is highly trainable, as long as you begin training your Leo puppy as soon as you bring him home. Otherwise, if you wait until he is 6 months old to begin training, you will have a bigger, more headstrong dog to deal with. Teach him how to respect humans by training them not to jump, to heal on the lead, and to enter and exit all doors and gateways after the humans. Well socialized and trained, they can be taken anywhere without difficulty and adjust easily to a variety of circumstances, including the introduction of other dogs, and you can't put a price on that. Although Leon Burgers are strong, generally healthy dogs, they can inherit or develop a number of diseases such as heart problems, bloat, inherited polyneuropathy, osteosarcoma, hemangiosarcoma, osteochondrosis dissecans, cataracts, entropion and ectropion, progressive retinal atrophy, and thyroid disorders. Fortunately, hip dysplasia, which devastates many large breeds, is largely controlled because of the effort of many breeders who actively screen their Leon Burgers using x-rays evaluated by the Orthopedic Foundation for Animals and leave dysplastic specimens out of the gene pool, thereby reducing the risk of bone and joint problems. 
We hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget that each new subscriber and positive comment motivates us to create more and better content. Thanks for watching.